what is the gas pressure inside the box shown in the figure? So what we have going on here is this is called a monometer or a manometer, however you pronounce it. So in here we have some gas and it is enclosed or trapped in by this liquid which is mercury. And over here we have the, the tube is open. So we have atmospheric pressure pushing down on this liquid. And we learned that at this level where the mercury is at is the exact same pressure right over here on the other side. So now on this side we have the pressure of the gas pushing down on the mercury. So the equation that we're going to use is the pressure of the gas is equal to the atmospheric pressure, which we'll say is 1 atm, plus the pressure that the gas is pushing on the liquid from the other side, which is going to equal the weight displaced, which is rho times gravity times the height of the liquid. Now they tell us in the book that if the mercury over here on the right side of the tube, let's say it was higher than where the gas pressure was over here somewhere, then H would equal a positive value if the right side is higher. And then H, if it is higher on the left side, will be a negative value if the left is higher. So now we know that H, or the, the height difference between where we're at of 16 centimeters on the left and 6 centimeters on the right, will be in negative 10 centimeters. The rho of mercury is 13,600 kilograms per cubic meter. And we know 9.8 for gravity and 1 atm for pressure. But for the pressure, the 1 atm, we actually don't want that in atms. We want that in pascals. So the book tells us that 101.3 kilopascals is 1 atm. So if we times that by 1,000, we get 101,300 pascals is equal to 1 atm. So now when we plug that in, the pressure of the gas is equal to 101,300 pascals plus, I'm going to run out of room, I'll do it down here, plus the rho of mercury, which we said is 13,600 times gravity, which is 9.8, times the height difference, which we said is a negative 10 or negative 0.1 meters. So the equation makes sense if you think about it for a second. We're just adding the different pressures. We're saying we have pressure coming down on this side and we have pressure coming down on this side. And so this, since we have a negative H, will be a negative value. And since the weight of the atmospheric pressure is pushing down more on this side, that's why the mercury is up at a higher level over here. If it was the same pressure on both sides, the mercury would be level with each other. Let's say this was the tube. And if the gas had a higher pressure, then the mercury would be up here. So what's really going on is we're saying this 1 atm or 101,300 pascals is going to be more than this. And we're just trying to find what the net pressure is, which is the purpose of a monometer which will give us the pressure of the gas in there. When we plug all this in, gives us 87,972 pascals, or 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 4 pascals is the pressure of the gas.